Here we go, round two, let's do more multiplication with regrouping. This time, um, I'm not going to go ahead and estimate. I'm actually just going to jump right on into multiplication using regrouping. Let's get started with our left side. So we're going to do 4,123 times 6. We know that we need to start in our ones column because of our regrouping or the possibility of regrouping. I'm going to start in my ones column and I see that we have 6 times 3 or 3 times 6. We know that in multiplication, the order does not matter based on the commutative property. So 6 times 3 is 18. I'm not going to write 18 down here because we've got this group of 10. Rather, I'm actually going to make sure that I regroup by placing my 10 in the tens column. And now I have 6 times 2, which is 12, plus that one more. So now we have 13 tens. I'm going to go ahead and put three tens. Now we can say that we've regrouped, and we have 100. 6 times 100 is 6, plus one more is 7. And do you notice how I've lined that up? It's in my hundreds column. And then last but not least, we've got 6 times 4 is 24. I'm going to go ahead and write down 24. And I notice there's this unit, a dollar sign. So we're going to go ahead and do a 1, 2, 3, and comma. So our product is 24,738. Now let's go ahead and let's work on our next problem. We're going to, again, go ahead and start. You have to, have to, have to start in your ones column, just in case you need to regroup. We've got 7 times 0 is 0. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the next zero. 7 times 0 is 0. 9 times 7, ooh, you guys know what 9 times 7 is? 9 times 7 is 63. So we're going to go ahead and put our 300s, and we need to regroup and put our 6,000s in the thousands column. And then last but not least, we need to do 7 times 2, or 2 times 7, and that's 14. 14 plus 6, well, that equals 20. Again, I'm noticing we've got that dollar sign, so I need to write that down. 1, 2, 3, and comma. My product is 20,300. So today we multiplied four-digit numbers times a one-digit number using regrouping. I think you guys are ready to show us your thinking on your own. Make sure that you show your thinking on the Canvas Chrome. Take a screenshot of it and plop it on into the slide. Good luck, and I know you guys will do amazing.